Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to um, process video number three in my mini series using a, a collection. And so with this one, it really stemmed from that um, sticker that said a whale of a tail. That was my inspiration for this for this page. And basically what it is, is I wanted to document um, how my son saved for a whole year so that he can buy um, his own Wii system or Wii console. Yeah, I think it's a Wii system. Anyways, so um, I have a lot of things to say with this particular layout, and so that's why I decided to go with that a whale of a tail. And so sometimes one of the ways that we can use a book collection for other than what is intended for is that we can look at um, inspiration from the sticker sheets or even from the pattern paper, especially if it has words like this a whale of a tail, because it will bring up ideas of um, what we can do or themes for other layouts. And so I'm going to be using a, um, a very simple design. Um, I think it's called like, you know, like a quart pint gallon system where the papers are in three different sizes. And so that's basically what I'm going to do here. Um, I decided initially I wanted to go with the turquoise paper because I had, um, I thought that that was um, a good color, but then it was just kind of a little too light for the, all the other papers that I have. And so I decided to turn it over and use the brown side. I am using kind of a beige, white beige cardstock as my base. Um, but the problem with this brown paper was that it, um, you know, it has those shells and the shells didn't really work with the theme of my layout. And I'm sorry that I am bumping the video or the camera here. Um, I apologize, but I was pulling out um, some white gesso. Now I am not a mixed media person, like I don't really do mixed medias on my layout, but I do have them, so I figured since I have them on, I mean in my stash, I might as well use it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm toning down the images or the design of the layout of the paper with some white gesso. And of course I'm gonna let that dry before I use it. But I think this was this worked well because I can still use the paper. You can still I mean of course the shell will still peek through once it's all dried but it toned it down it's not like screaming shells to me and so that worked for me and I also um, added some more gesso on the um, on the edges of the two other pattern papers that I pulled out just so that it will kind of all worked together. Now I got it the pattern the cardstock um, so that I can use it for another layout but um, it made it that the papers on the back was a little bit open and flimsy so I just made sure that I secured that with some washi and I actually ended up using that particular washi so that made me really happy. Raise your hand if you've ever used up a whole roll of washi and to be honest with you I still have a lot more washies to use up so that made me happy. Um, I also considered maybe um, using some more pattern paper on the where the pattern papers um, kind of meet together just to, so that it will be seamless and so I did um, add the um, paper on um, the between the red and the blue and then also a diagonal one between the brown one and the other two papers. Now with the gutted cardstock piece I actually used that to mat my three photos and so that that will um, not only stand out, but I also know that it will blend really well with the layout because the, I already used the cardstock as my foundation. So now I'm pulling out my title. And initially I had wanted that on the top left page um, where I, because my thought was that I was going to kind of use that as a heading for my journaling, but there wasn't really any room for it there because if I put that there, as you can see, it was going to cover up part of my photo and I didn't really want that, um, especially because the photo that I used, um, the specific thing that I wanted to emphasize with that photo is the one on the kind of left side of the picture so I didn't want to cover that up so I decided to put that on the bottom but I used the tail of the whale image to go um, over the photo just so that they will connect um, that was something that I've 
I've learned from another YouTuber named Jen Scow, where if you connect your images or um, the items on your page to one another, it has a more cohesive look. And so I've uh, I've been doing that um, lately and I thought that that's something that's really good. Now I just wanted something on the bottom of this journaling block and so I felt like I could use something but I also wanted to use up all the items here and so I figured that I'm going to be using some kind of X kind of remind me of stitching um, but again um, like in the first video some of the letters were just, ha I was just having a hard time with it and so I decided to um, spray it with adhesive. Now I thought that my video was still going when I added um, a few more d um, images or items on my layout but apparently not so I apologize for that but I did cut up some papers and um, used some words from that papers to kind of add um, some word blocks on my layout and that's basically how it is thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video bye